And I just wanted to show that it's not like we people are not black and white. It's not one or the other. It's not like someone's a good guy and a bad guy. You know, it, it, there there are shades. How did I get so lucky? Are you talking about me or your job? Okay, oh, hey, sorry. We're getting married. We're getting married. Mm. So wish we could tell the whole world. Hi, Chloe, I'm Leticia from Cinefop in Brazil. <laughs> and my question is, um, I I believe for the for your debut film, you really choose a really bold subject to, to talk about. And I'm really intrigued about the first scene, that's a sex scene with the period. <laughs> and it was the first time I see the scene in a mainstream movie. And uh, I saw before only with Catherine Bouillard, Mm. And I would like to know, and um, uh, all this idea came from to put the scene in the movie that talk about emancipation of women, fragility of men. Mm -hmm. um, that was really important to me to 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 open the film that way and, and introduce Luke's character as as someone who, on some level, isn't threatened by women. You know, because how could he be threatened by a woman if he has her period blood on his face? <laughs> you know, so. It, I wanted to show that like Luke kind of represents the modern man, which is on some level, you know, he's someone who who adores Emily for for her strengths. He's her biggest champion. He's her biggest supporter. You know, uh, uh, he loves her for 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 all these things. Um, and at the same time, he's also threatened by the very same things that he adores her for because of the way he was raised. And uh, so I wanted to specifically, though, set up, though, that, that, that this is someone um, who we wouldn't expect to be, you know, uh, to, re to behave the way that he does in the film. Um, because that I, I just think in my own personal experiences that that's what's been true to me is, is I've, you know, I've, I've dated men who, who, um, who have been incredibly supportive um, uh, of my ambition and my career. And at the same time, there, there's still always been this unspoken tension. That, that my success has, has become a poor reflection of their self-worth, you know, and it, it's because of, of uh, what was instilled in them as, as, as a kid. He's promoting me. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Why? I'm so happy for you. Okay. I talked to Emerald's panel, and she saw that we, you be in a panel with her. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to hear about you. What do you think about these... Uh, a new perspective for for women and in the direction and what kind of movie you can change the perspective like Fair Play uh, was a erotica thriller that you didn't see before as a perspective for a woman. Mm -hmm. We saw in the 90s a lot of men doing and it was totally different now. Mm -hmm. You see that you you can like sub not so referred, but um, a little change the genre of a movie that we used to mm -hmm. with the female perspective. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I think that um, it's, uh, I would say not just my gender, but also as a new filmmaker, I think our jobs are to, to tell new stories and, and, and use genre in a, in a way that, that hasn't been told, you know, and, and to twist genre and manipulate it to service stories um, that, that need to be told now. And for me, what, what I was really interested in with, with Fair Play was, was, um, was twisting the genre um, and using it uh, to shine a light on the, the core themes of the film, you know, to, to, to really explore the, the dangers of male inferiority um, and, and to show all the ways in which women are forced to play ugly to survive, you know, not just in the workplace, but, but behind uh, closed doors. Can I buy another? Now that you're making more money than me? <laughs> oh. What are you doing? You know it's just a game. You play it very well. Are you going to pitch me to Campbell? I don't think it's a good idea. We both can't keep working here. I'm not quitting. Just to finalize, uh, Phoebe was an amazing uh, choice for the character. She, uh, uh, Emily was supposed to be different without her. And I'll say, when you choose her, was based on what are you expecting for the character? Uh, we see her in another uh, work before. Yeah, I mean, it was really it was a gut reaction when I met when I met with Phoebe. Um, but I I I saw I saw um, the pilot of Bridgerton, and I was just enamored by her performance. I think that that I could tell she's a very strong, versatile actor, 
Um, and uh, and there were just so many qualities to her. I feel like she has a she has a big range. She she can she can play warm and vulnerable, but she can also you know go to very um, angry, fierce places as well. And and I think that that range was really important for for the role of of, of Emily. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was a real pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Are you out of your mind? You're gonna end our relationship by setting off a bomb. do filthy things but we don't trick it back into the office why is it so hard to accept that i deserve